What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome to another vlog style video. And first off, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for helping me reach 900 subscribers here on the channel. We are that much closer to reaching 1K subs. If this keeps up, hopefully we can reach 1K by the end of the year. I would like that to happen, but there's obviously no guarantee with the YouTube algorithm, the whole COPPA thing, which unfortunately I'm not getting into too much detail, but it definitely sucks in that regard. But I do want to thank you guys for helping me reach it. I know it's a few days late, maybe even a week or so late in mainly, and we have passed it like uh, by a few subscribers already. But I still want to thank you guys. So what I'm actually planning on doing for 900 subscribers is I want to do a Q&A with you guys. And I actually did tweet out this a few weeks ago that I wanted to do a Q&A, but I wasn't actually necessarily planning on saving it for 900 subscribers, but I figured since this is where I am right now, might as well go ahead and do it, because why not? I did actually get some responses over on Twitter on that initial tweet, so I do still have those questions, so you guys do not have to worry. But if the rest of you have any questions you want me to answer, in said Q&A, then make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. That's barring I actually have comments enabled with this old copy thing that's definitely going to suck if that's not the case. But yeah, but that's not all I'm actually going to be doing in this particular video. I actually have a little bit of an unboxing for you guys, but although technically I guess it's a more of an unbagging, I should technically say. I ordered this off of Amazon, and this may not look like it right now, but this is actually a brand new controller. Some of you guys may remember I had issues with Steel Series, and I still am not happy with them, like, by any means. I have talked to a couple people who think, oh, I should probably give Steel Series a second chance. I realize that people are going to be like that, but for me personally, I'm not going to do it. But I did get a completely brand new controller, and I'm actually kind of excited. It was like under $20. I don't really remember how much it technically was, but it was under $20. There are actually two different models. There's a blue model and a red model. I ordered the blue model. I'm hoping that's what I end up getting, but it looks like they are running out of stock on that particular one, and... They're not getting any more. I will make sure of a link down in the description if you guys want to pick either of those up. But if you're watching this later in the future, I cannot guarantee they will still be in stock. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to see exactly if I ended up getting what it is that I ordered. And yes, this did actually come in a box. If any of you were wondering, I'm not 100% sure. But this is actually the important part right here, and I can already feel the controller inside of it. It actually came with a few different accessories, with the bag right here being the uh, one that I wasn't like necessarily too excited about, but it's a nice thing to have regardless. And, oh, okay, I did actually get the blue one like I ordered. Okay, good. I am excited about this, and okay, can you come out? Ooh, all right, it, it came with a USB cable, that's at least nice. Don't think it actually came with a charger, but then again, I have plenty of those, so that's not a problem. Got myself an instruction manual. Don't care about that right now, I will look at that a little bit later. But here's the actual controller itself, and there is actually, a little bit of a station for me to go ahead and hook my phone onto. If I actually play Minecraft, which Minecraft Views will actually be returning very soon, I'm not going to use this. However, from what I read, supposedly this is actually detachable, I think. I may potentially have to look at the actual manual itself to figure out how it actually ends up coming off, but I did read that it is supposed to be detachable. You know what, I may actually just go ahead and see if I can figure out how 
to go ahead and do that potentially if it's even possible. I'm pretty sure it's detachable. It said it said it's supposed to be. I'm just not 100 percent sure how to. Um, maybe it's this right here. No, it doesn't seem to be an actual button. But yeah, this is supposed to be detachable, which is gonna be pretty nice. All things. Oh, there, there it came off. Never mind. Um, off. A lot smoother than I was hoping it would, but you know what? Whatever. But yeah, here we go. We got ourselves our control. Nice, bright blue. Perfect for me personally, because you guys know blue is the color that represents me the most. So I've got actual like buttons and stuff, like actual triggers, which. That's kind of nice. My previous Steel Series controller required double A's, which I did have rechargeables. This one directly charges, which is really nice, all things considered. I am not going to complain about that by any means whatsoever. But it looks like we got ourselves a uh, D pad, which is actually four individual buttons. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that, but it should be perfectly fine. The A, B, X, and Y feel. Fairly responsive, so do the um, triggers and shoulders. They're actually labeled, oh, they are labeled L2 and R2. I thought it said LZ and RZ so, uh, for whatever reason. And, okay, so the triggers are, at the very least, clickable. We've got ourselves home select start. I'm seeing some lights up at the top. I'll have to look into what those are later. I realize this has turned more into, like, me... <laughs> examining the controller and I apologize, but the fact that I have something brand new to go ahead and work with is really nice. I don't even know if there's actually any charge in this by any means, but it's pretty nice all things considered. And again, I'm not going to be using the clip when I'm recording. This is more like when I'm playing it casually, which not really too big of an issue, but it does mean that because I've got this bag, it can take this stuff with me, which I actually really like. That's actually okay, so I am gonna have to take care of that a little bit later. Obviously, I've not tested this just yet, but it will be very soon. And one final thing that I want to end this video off with before I go ahead and kind of close things off. That was were a little weird. I'm not gonna worry about. It. Um, some of you guys may be aware of the recent Entity 303 trailer that I just recently released. I will not be answering questions in that particular regard as far as the Q&A is concerned. I realize I probably should have said that up front, but the reason being is because I don't want to spoil anything just yet. Technically speaking, even I don't have everything fully fleshed out just yet, but stuff that I do have planned, I'd rather wait until things start actually picking up with that series and I actually start releasing stuff in that regard. But so far, it has received fairly positive responses. I am not going to lie about that. And I'm actually rather thankful that you guys uh, have, do, have watched it. Apparently, I can't speak today. Uh, the, those of you who have watched it, I do appreciate the fact that you have liked it as much as you did. Thank you guys for that. But yeah, that is literally all I have for... Today's video. Hopefully, I can get Minecraft videos going up again relatively soon because that is nice that I have something completely brand new. But yeah, this is where I'm going to end things off. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. Or more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Jerry Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>